The basketball court. Senator Mark Warner is using all kinds of venues to reach out to Virginians, engage their views on the economy along with many other issues. He's on a 17-event swing through southwestern and central Virginia to discuss his first 90 days in office, and he joins us now right here in our studio. Good afternoon, Senator Warner. Thank you so much for coming in. Kimberly, thanks for having me on. And of course, it's been a very busy 90 days for you in office, and in particular, the vote on the economic stimulus package. What are you hearing from folks as you travel around the state? Well, one, it's great to get out of Washington. Uh, yeah. you know, to get out and get back on sure. the front lines. We started in Bristol. Uh, today I just came from a health care forum here in Roanoke. Um, had a chance to suit up and play ball yesterday at Radford. But what I'm hearing is a lot of concern, one, about where the economy is headed. And I personally believe the combined actions of the stimulus, trying to get the credit markets reopened with the banks, dealing with the housing foreclosure, we should see some of that positive activity of those actions hit by midsummer. And secondly, I'm hearing a lot of folks say, hey, are we in southwest Virginia going to see some of the benefits? Right. Some of those benefits have already p passed through in terms of not having cuts in K-12 education or cuts in our fire department or police department. They've supplemented state and local spending. But there's still a lot of additional funds that are still to be allocated around areas like information technology for health care, about weatherization projects, about projects around um, medical research. And I I hope, and one of the things we were working on earlier today was how do we make sure that Roanoke Valley and Southwest Virginia get some of those dollars. And that's what everybody wants to know Absolutely. because so many people are struggling right now. And um, it is a very busy political day in Virginia. Of course, the shad planking right. happening today up in Wakefield later this afternoon. There are three Democrats vying for governor this time around. Are you prepared to endorse any of them at this point? You know, Kimberly, I think we've got three strong candidates. I think it's better to let this primary process play out. Um, you know. As tough as things are in, are in in Virginia right now, we are still in a much better shape than almost any other state in the country. Our unemployment level levels are a couple points lower, lower than the national average. Um, our budget is in uh, relatively good shape compared to other states who are who have lost their AAA bond rating a number of years ago. When I was governor, we were named the best managed state in the country, and we kept that AAA bond rating that's allowed us that good housekeeping seal of approval. Right. So uh, I hope one of these candidates will continue the approach that, that I took and. Governor Kane has taken, um, but uh, as far it, as naming a particular name, though, well, I'm not going to I'm not going <laughs> to call out a specific name. Um, you know, I I I always recall the shad planking. It's an exciting day to, you know, hang out with a lot of folks, uh, maybe drink a little beer and hear a few political <laughs> speeches. Uh, I, I'm sure all the candidates will have a good time there today. And you got to have some fun yesterday up at Radford University. I, we have a little bit of video uh -oh. of that, I believe. Uh -oh. We actually scored a few baskets. Uh oh, good. I hope you got the good the good part of the video. <laughs> right. The highlights there. And that's just sort of another way, I guess, of you know, being one-on-one -on -one with people and, and hearing from them and hearing their concerns. Well, I, I had a chance to sit down with about 400 students right. and hear their concerns. A lot of concerns about, the, obviously, the financial system and how do we make sure that we never get in this kind of circumstance again with these banks with these crazy items and then have us the taxpayers bail them out uh, after that though I got a chance to suit up and uh, uh, show my game a little bit of course uh, I was playing with some guys that average about six eight six nine <laughs> six ten a little bit wider bodies and a little bit younger quicker than I was but it was a great fun and those those young men at, uh, at Radford uh, they got to the, uh, the tournament this year good team and they were good sports to have me on the court absolutely with them. kudos to you for stopping by there and thank you so much for coming in today and talking with us I know you're on a tight schedule. Thank you, Kimberly. All Thanks right. for having me. Thank you. Take care. And coming up next,